Hi there, this is David from AppWorks, and I'm gonna do another cool trick video today. Um, we're gonna go over how to have a script in FileMaker perform itself on server. So it's gonna recursively call itself uh, and run on server instead of running locally on the local machine. This can speed up operations uh, a lot when you're um, running PSOS is what we call a perform script on server. So um, I did write up a blog article about this way back in 2015 when this uh, uh, feature came out on version 13 of uh, FileMaker. So if you want to go to our website app.works um, and do a search in the search bar on our blog for um, perform script on server or automatically perform script on server, it's got a nice description of it um, and some sample code that you can see. Um, but I'm just going to show you this because I consider this to be a cool trick. Uh, so basically we've got a database. This is hosted um, on one of our dev servers and um, this, like a, I basically wrote a demo script that just grabs a state name, goes through these company records, takes that state and updates a date field. Uh, it takes a while locally, so in this old demo that I built, um, basically you take one script, and you say what state would you like to update, you put that in a variable, and then you send that variable to another script, which is performed on server. So you use the perform script on server script step send the state name and then it comes back you get the result of the script and it says success or failure um, the subscript that you f would fire off is just takes the script parameter um, does the stuff goes to a layout enters find mode does these things replaces fields and then exits so not a big deal but it is two scripts to maintain and so it's I, I find it to be a little bit more elegant to just have one script that calls itself and the cool trick about this is that it'll actually call itself on server if a server exists, but if this is a local uh, copy um, running locally, it'll still work locally. So you, you do have to make a few little adjustments, but this is the script that calls itself. So basically I've combined these two scripts over here into one. So we start off, we say show custom dialog, grab the state name, and then we say and we have an if statement. And this little section here actually is the only part that runs locally on the local machine unless you are not hosted on server but that's not what we're talking about here so um, the rest of this is actually the only part that's performed on server and including this first statement here uh, script step so what we do is we say is if the uh, pattern count of the application version that we're currently running has does not have the word server in it so you can look for the word server in the application version. Right now we're just running FileMaker Pro Advanced. So it does not have the word server in it. So there's fewer than one time in the pattern count. So that's true. And uh, we go integer, get as number, get host application version. And this checks to see if there's a hosted version of FileMaker, meaning a server version. Um, if there's not, it won't have a number and this will fail and we'll the script will just skip down to here and start running locally. If, however, we're not running on server right now and there is a server hosting this file that is greater than or equal to version 13, it should run successfully via PSOS. So now we can perform this script, which is the script that we're currently running. So it's calling itself on the server and sending the state parameter. Then we wait for completion and we get the result and then we show the result, and now we exit the script. You have to exit the script right here, otherwise it'll run it again, locally. So now what happens is when it gets onto server, it ignores this because you can't show a custom dialog on server. The server then goes straight to here, grabs the state, runs this part on the server, exits, and then comes down to here. And that's basically the whole technique. So when we run this, you'll see, the script debugger show custom dialog oh I'd like to update the state of Texas now if pattern count can get application version server is fewer than one and the server version is greater than or equal to 13 is true now we're gonna perform our myself on server I'm gonna do that you can see it just updated some records here we get the script result and we had a success and then we're done so that's the cool trick. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, make some comments if you have any questions um, and visit our website if you want to check out the blog article. Thanks.